Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius Podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. I have Dr. Eric Fung. He's the Vice President of Clinical Development at Grail Bio. Here's a bit about his bio. He has, uh, he's an executive with experience in IVD test development, including biomarker and discovery and validation, clinical trials, FDA submission, product launch. So sounds like his experience goes through the whole life cycle of uh, you know ideation to, um, to actual approval. And we're going to talk about uh, his work at Grail. So Eric, thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Would you want to tell me a bit about your background? You know, how did you end up at Grail? And then I want to talk about Grail itself. Sounds great. So I've always had a longstanding interest in applying technology to clinical questions and clinical issues. And Grail was a natural fit for the progression of my career because I had done quite a bit of work in developing a number of different diagnostic tests using both protein and DNA analysis. And Grail was really transforming medicine and had in my mind, when I joined about four years ago, the opportunity to really change the way we think about cancer detection. And what that really means is, as we all know, early detection of cancer is really the best uh, proposition for uh, survival and uh, bending the mortality curve. You know, most of what we've been doing over the last, you know, 50 years in the war of cancer has been focusing on therapeutics. And, you know, when we look at many of the therapeutics that have been approved by the FDA, their impact on survival tends to be relatively short. And that's because if we're still detecting cancer at a late stage, we're really not giving ourselves the best opportunity to uh, reduce mortality. And so Grail's mission to detect cancer early really resonated with me. And on the technology side, you know, the concept of looking at cell-free nucleic acid and, and the circulating DNA that's shed by the cancer cells is really a, a technological leap from where we have been, where we've been really looking at um, trying to detect cancer anatomically. And that's really what all of our current screening uh, paradigms really do in general. So mammography looks for a tumor, colonoscopy looks for um, a tumor. And we now have an opportunity to really utilize a novel technology to look at it molecularly. And so obviously there was a lot of work to be done and, and that's really why I wanted to join Grail. So is this what's known as a liquid biopsy? You know, taking blood or other body fluids to look for tumor markers? Yeah, the phrasing of liquid biopsy has been used uh, quite a bit in the field of oncology. You know, the, the way I think about liquid biopsy in, in its strictest sense is um, a test that's utilized in individuals who already have a known diagnosis of cancer. And what we're trying to do is, in that situation, try to assess, for example, you know, what are the mutations in that in that uh, cancer? And that helps, uh, for example, determine treatment selection. The way that I think about what we're doing at Grail is not really this application. And I would describe it more as multi-cancer early detection, or what we say in shorthand, MSED, testing. And the, the big distinction here is in multi-cancer early detection, we're trying to detect cancer. So by definition, this is an individuals who we don't know have cancer yet, and we're trying to detect that cancer. And, and that's really the distinction between what I would describe as conventional liquid biopsy. And the, you know, the technical, technical challenges and the clinical applications are distinct between MSED testing and liquid biopsies. And so when we think about um, what we're doing at Grail and developing the MSED test, what we're really trying to do is answer a two-part question. The first question is, is there a signal of cancer present or not? And the second question is, if there is a cancer uh, signal, where did that cancer most likely arise from? And that's really the, um, the clinical application of MSED testing. So, okay, what's the difference between the MSED testing? What does it look for versus, let's say, a liquid biopsy? Uh, what's the difference? So when we're doing an MSED test, um, and, and this is borne out through you know all the work that's been done over the last several years, we're looking at DNA that's been shed by cancer cells. And so early on, uh, we conducted a study called the Circulating Cell-Free Genome Atlas Study, or CCGA, and we did kind of a bake-off because we know that there are a number of different kinds of genetic aberrations in cancer cells. There are copy number changes in which, you know, uh, there's amplification or deletion of regions of the genome. There's also single nucleotide variants or very specific mutations. Uh, there are also epigenetic changes, so changes in the methylation patterns. And so early on, we had to really understand, was it necessary to measure all of these different kinds of aberrations? Or was there a subset of types of aberrations that would make it evident? Contagious to answer those two questions I, I mentioned earlier. Is there a cancer signal? And if so, where did that cancer signal arise from? 